Sorry about that, I actually had someone barging on me, so let's continue. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. I bet you aren't. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon. Paco and Blue Lagoon. Madison has the same clues. Well, so. continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. Norman and you have the right Madison to remain might silent. run into each Anything. other. And he's having one of his ship the cane moments again. Oh, great. Anything you say can and will be the most inconvenient time. <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Shut up, man. R1. X. L1. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. Come on. Oh, my God. This is so freaking difficult. <laughs> I was like, what, six or seven buttons I had to hold down? Turn around. Give him a nice big bear hug. Come on, you can do it. Well, thank God we didn't have a tryptocaine attack right there. We probably would have died or something. Actually, I know what would have happened, but... Y'all don't need to know that just yet. You'll actually... See it during my heavy rain extras, which should be very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Back to Scott Shelby, he... They got away from Manfred's shop and got arrested for at one point, I guess. Let's see what happens. God, my back hurts. <laughs> Getting undressed. So, All you right. think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. Right, I think cr the Kramer family suspect, has something to do with it. He's a pretty guilty looking one. Exactly. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, huh. his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Come over okay here. I'll give you a bear hug. I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. I wonder if I can follow her. No, I cannot. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. I should prep those scrambled eggs. Ah, uh, I guess I can. <laughs> the old days. Looks like someone else's life to me now. Does he have any... Yeah, he has something to say about Blake. <sighs> Poor Manfred. Wrong. We've just been toast in the old days. Didn't bring him much luck. Yeah. It's strange seeing Carter after all these years. Hasn't changed a bit. Still a twisted fuck. <laughs> yeah, he thinks Blake is as twisted as Jayden thinks he's twisted, so... Hopefully what goes around comes along, comes around and Blake gets his due because he's just a plain asshole. Well, he's cooking scrambled eggs. This is a really complicated and hard part of the game which only a few people are able to master. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Scrambling some eggs. Frickin', frickin' Chef Boy RD. Some nerve, that girl. <laughs> Some nerve. La la la. He's a freaking egg making master.
Next thing you know, he's going to make an omelet. I should be ready by now. Okay. Turn off the heat. Take it off the stove. No invisible eggs like in DSP's playthrough, which was funny as hell. The magical floating eggs. Aw, he lays out the silverware for her. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Oh, well, that's lovely. She just nabs my bath bathrobe. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. Almost. Girl, I am the egg-making champion. What's that? <laughs> The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. 30. The killer may be one of them. Well, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Isn't it worth it? Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Lauren, wait. Wow, she's a smart cookie. Come on, Shelby. 30 people? That's not too bad. It's better... If the killer really better used than nothing. a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an Origami Magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, I, I mean, that's just an assumption, but... Yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him. Bossy, but at least she's getting somewhere. I mean, she pointed out some something that Shelby couldn't figure out until just now. I mean, I think he was kind of shocked that she could come up with something like that. I also like the fact that they're so comfortable with each other now that they're letting each other wear one another's clothes. Next thing you know, Shelby's going to be wearing a G-string and a bra. <laughs> That's disturbing. <laughs> Ew. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you going to do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. John Shepard, huh? That's definitely You never lead. give up, do you? Well, at least we're somewhere. Let's see what Shelby's thoughts are on the situation. <laughs> this girl knows her mind all right. No point in trying to reason with her. It's cold. It's raining. I'm standing outside getting soaked. Oh, how I love my job. She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me, thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery, pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. Stop complaining and just search for the, the damn grave. Excuse me. I hate cemeteries. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Yeah, woman. Got a hand to it. That girl is one really determined chick. Huh. Can't, fi can't find the grave anywhere. The sooner we find that grave, the sooner we can get the hell out of here. Leslie Turner. Don't know how I read that grave. Hey, Scott, where are you going? John Shepard's grave must be somewhere around here. Did anyone ever tell you you shouldn't shout in the cemetery? <laughs> Take you it easy. The dead don't mind. Bossy. 